A very good morning to you and welcome to Central News. First this morning, West Bromwich Albion midfielder Ronnie Woolwork has been stabbed in a Manchester nightclub. Windows are blown in and roads closed off. We're live at the scene for the latest. First for the news, welcome to Central Tonight. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> and join me later. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, yeah. And now you I'm certainly no got your fingers dirty there. Yeah. It's good to see. No. More than a hundred decibels. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Chris. Oh, thank, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> thank you, Chris. Where do you pick up from that? I don't know. Right. Hello, I'm Chris James. The latest in the West. Adrian Prout's been found guilty of murdering his wife, Kate. She's been missing for two years from their Gloucestershire farm. Her body has never been found. Henry Webster, the Wiltshire teenager left brain damaged after being attacked with a hammer outside school, has lost his High Court battle for compensation. The judge ruled the school didn't breach its duty of care to him. To the weather, and Saturday is going to be mostly dry, although cloudy. A chance of one or two brighter spells later. Top temperatures, 8 degrees Celsius. Tonight, his public apology. The footballer convicted of causing death by dangerous driving asks for the chance to rebuild his life. I have made dreadful mistakes and decisions that I will have to live with the rest of my life. This is Central Tonight with Chris James and Joanne Maylin. Yes, good afternoon, Victoria. Well, the good news here in Worcester is that the River Severn has peaked today. It can't get any higher after the rainfall we've had. Since we left our tripod here, the water has encroached right up over its feet, and that is literally in just a couple of minutes. The rainfall is continuing here, and the water is continuing to rise. These tunnels were built back in the 1700s and used by the Earl of Dudley to transport wares and food between Wolverhampton and Birmingham and back again. Charlie, thanks very much indeed. Now, we're going to put this to the test. Just have a look, see how much snow we've had. You said four inches. It's actually two and a half. You just you were picking, lying, you're just picking, you? you're just picking. I've always wanted to do this to him. <laughs> Eat snow. Back to you, then. <laughs> you missed us. You missed us. <laughs> Let me leave you pondering on this thought, and possibly the biggest secret in the entire house. In the servant quarters here are 44 bells, each one connected to every room in the house, except this one. It has a question mark beneath it because no one knows where it goes. Beautiful, what a lovely house. Absolutely lovely. So many hidden treasures there. I was really at home. Yeah, and tell everybody about your secret, about you being I discovered that related. one of my, well, very, very far back ancestors lived and worked in that house. Sir George Trevelyan. It was shocking. I didn't know that. It was Excellent. great anyway. And I'm far too young to remember Tis was. You really shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Does it every time. Have a great weekend. And don't forget, there's more on our website. The address is on your screen right now. And that's it from the Central News Desk. It's wet and windy Friday night. The weather will be here right across the weekend. Now from the team, have a peaceful weekend. Good night.